What's up, guys? How are you doing? Welcome to my channel. It's your boy, and I'm back again. We've got this beautiful, lovely car. I know it's very windy. It is a Bentley Flying Spare, the hybrid, the new one. I know you can barely hear what I'm saying, but I'll take some body shots. Look at that. This is what dreams are made of, guys. So, anyways, we're gonna just go inside and then we'll talk about the car from the inside, guys. Let's go. As you guys can see there, you've got the beautiful Bentley Flying Spare, which comes in that beautiful, lovely dark blue. However, the dark blue's got that like flake as well. So you've got the badge there, which is hiding. When you press the button, it comes up. Then you've got the black grill at the front there. I love how they've de and everything. Then you've got the beautiful chandelier looking like glass um, light as well. Then you've got the black, beautiful rims that are 21 inches as well. You can inspect them as a 22 inch wheel. These have got black calipers. Then you got the B as well, which is black in there on the side as well. Then looking closer at that paint as well. Under the side, it just reflects the flakiness beneath there, which is so beautiful. And this car is also a hybrid as well, which make, you know, makes the car cheaper as well. Then you got the heads up display on the inside there. As you go along the very long car length of this car. This car thing is well over 5.3 meters. Longer than a Range Rover, believe it or not. It's just got so much presence the creases, the lines on the back as well, the heap as well. So you've got the back lights as well, which have got a B. Then you've got the black surround as well. Then you've got the black exhaust as well. This has got a 3 liter engine as well. So when you pop that, that opens up the boot as well, which is quite big as well, guys. It's got a 3 liter from an Audi. Then it's also got an electric motor as well. So that cap over there, you just pop that open. That's for you to charge this car. It's a plug-in hybrid as well. So it gives you a 25 miles of range. I think it's got, I think, 520 something horsepowers, and which is quite a lot to be fair. I think not to 16, 4.1 seconds as well. So yeah, it's a very beautiful car. The key is quite thick as well. Watch this as I pop this open as well. So it's just gonna open up there. There we are, we've got the flying B as well, which is also illuminated as well at night time, which makes this look very bourgeoisie, very, you know, excellent, very expensive, so to say. And yeah, yeah, love a car, love the car. Here we are, guys. So I've got the car turned on right now. This car is so beautiful. The first thing that you see, guys, is this beautiful, lovely interior. So when you sit in this cockpit, you've got just a lot of luxurious materials. I don't even know where to start. However, we'll start just from here where I'm sitting just behind this steering wheel as well. And it comes in that black, lovely surround. And then on the inside, you've got this beautiful cream interior there. Then you've also got the black stitching as well. Oh my gosh, this feels so lovely. So the car is on already. So this car is a 2.9 liter V6 petrol. It's a new addition to a Bentley's flying spare. So you can get this car as a W12 6 liter. You can also get this car as a 4 liter V8 petrol. And then now also you've also got the hybrid as well which uh, is matted or connected to the electric motor, which helps this car to develop a very fast, fast speed in seconds. So this car, I believe, has got over 540 horsepowers, which is quite a lot because this car is very heavy. You need to have that much power to move such massive mass as well. So everything which looks like it's wood, it's wood. The other day I was inside Bentley and I was just touching some of the materials when you're specking the, uh, the car. So that'll be wood as well and it's quite heavy so one thing i love as well you've got this like uh instrument cluster which is digital of course it's got all the information so on your left hand side there it says you've got 33 miles of range and it says the engine is ready as well then you've also got the middle section as well which has got obviously all your information for the for the charge and then on your right hand side you've also got the speedometer as well you can actually change this display to configure to how you like it as well i believe you just go on view that will give you certain information as well. So you just keep pressing view. And then I think you press this as well. It's like a, no, 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 sorry. Beg your pardon. You press this. I'll tell you if your range so far, you need to refuel. Then that's your radio there. We don't want that. That's for your SIM card. Then that's for your sat nav as well. So you're able to, to change three quarters of the right side of the screen to show you your destination and where you currently are as well. So yeah, I do really love this. 
but I think I prefer it, I think, in this. So with this car, it's one of those cars which, you know, you can either drive yourself or be chauffeured in the thing, which makes Bentley a lot, I think, a lot better than Rolls-Royce because the Rolls-Royce is so massive and you can't see yourself, like, you know, um, like driving it. I know you can, but then at the same time, it's not as sporty as this. This is more spirited. So I do love this cream interior. So with the Bentley, you feel like you're sitting, like, in a cockpit, to be fair, because this leather and wood wraps around you. So if you look at the doors over there, um, so you've got this um, beautiful, it's not even black, it's like a, a navy blue almost colour. Then you've got this wooden effect as well over there. And you've also got this piano black as well. Then in between that, you've also got these chrome accents as well. And also you've got the lovely stitching as well. Then you've got your door handle, which comes in a brushed steel as well, which looks beautiful as well. Then even the buttons as well for your windows, for your mirrors, they all feel good quality as well. And even like you've got some decent sized door pockets then you've also got some beautiful material there then you've also got a very special um, sound system it's called it's called name so name is meant to be pretty good as well one thing i forgot as well is this is also a soft close as well which i'll demonstrate it's quite windy outside so i just do this yep so you've got massive a pillars at the front there you got massive pillars at the front Sorry, B pillars, I beg your pardon. You've got massive pillars anyways. I could get it wrong, but you've got massive pillars over there. Then you've also got obviously your heads up display at the front as well. And then as we move on to over here, you've got your satellite navigation. Satellite navigation. Don't know why I said it that way. I'm just like so excited, guys. So you've got quite a massive wide screen and you're able to configure that to your settings as well. So you've got this starting button over here, which is, you know, which is so beautiful it just feels like nice lovely you know um it, 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 it's got like that like glass effect it's not glass it's metal though but it just feels so lovely as well so um one thing i do love about this car is like you've got a lot of buttons so it's not like everything is just touch screen. i believe this is also touch screen as well and um i believe oh it's touch screen yep definitely so you can just go to your home there that shows you information about your car shows you where you are then you can also go to driving dynamics over there that i believe will show you information about your car as well and um, obviously this car like you know will need you to like you know to look at it in more depth and learn more about it i don't want to press things that you know i shouldn't press i've been given this car by the lovely fox of bentley that's just sat never over there i'll show you where you are then you can go to your media there as well so you can obviously play different things on there i've got it close you can also link your phone up as well to the car as well so you, i believe you've got apple carplay as well as android auto as well then you can also configure this car as well so you've got quite a lot of things so you've got night vision heads up display intelligent coasting which is quite good also with helping you with uh you know um saving fuel then you've also got blind spot assist as well so this car has got adaptive cruise control so which means it's able to match the speed of the car in front you're able to adjust that as well so i think it will drive itself for like 10 seconds until it warns you to then take over as well and you've got this bentley safeguarding system i don't know what it does i'm not gonna lie then you've also got your climate control as well so you also got your apps as well so with this car obviously you can charge it as well so if we just click on e-charging there so it's loading up as well. I believe it's connected to the internet. Should do, surely. Well, that's taken quite a long time, so we'll just forget about that. But ideally, it should give you, like, I think, places where you can charge this car. So you get, like, 33 miles of range. I believe it's the same system as in the other Volkswagen products, such as the Audi A3 e-tron. So you get, like, 33 miles on the Audi, which, which you, you know, which you will not be, I think, <laughs> able to achieve in this such a heavy car as this as well, guys. So we'll move on to also like the beautiful the Breitling clock as well. And you've also got your air vents as well. Beautiful. Not forgetting also, you've got this as well, which helps to either stop or channel air towards you as well. Now, one thing also I do love as well is just, you know, the... Sorry, that's the A pillar. Then that's your B pillar. So on the B pillar, there, if you look, guys, you've got your seatbelt thing over there. Then you've also got the leather as well as well as the 3d effect as well so it's not just you know on the door but it's also on the b 
B pillars as well. This car comes special. Lovely, beautiful car. Oh my gosh, what a car. So that's obviously your gear selector over there. You got the B over there, then you got the park. I love how you got the aircon buttons over here as well. And you know, when you adjust them like so, then they also change as well. Let's just go on home on the set never there because this thing is doing my head in. Um, then you also got your heated. That's for your fan speed, that's for your direction of the air. So you've got your heated as well as cooled seat as well for the front, I believe. And then you've got your park and brake as well. So this car's got the PDC, which is, I think, um, the the driving dynamics of the car. So you're able to set it to either comfort driving, or sport, or extreme sport as well, which, you know, helps to accelerate you from zero to 60 in, I believe, in the mid four seconds or so. Then you've also got your massive center console as well, or center piece over here. So you've got the cup holders there. Then obviously you've got your midsection there, which I'll try and open without breaking. Gosh, I can't even open it. There's probably like a button to press, but I just can't even open it. I'm sweating in here. I'm gonna have to put the aircon on. Um, let's put the aircon on again, because I am sweating right now. The car is on and it's just so quiet. Right, let's... So that's the aircon there, it's just heating up. Let me just try and uh, reduce the fan speed just so it's ticking away. No, 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 no. We'll keep it on. I'm trying to reduce the, uh, the fan speed. Right. Even on one is still like very like loud as well. It's still very loud as well. Um right, let's see what we on here. Tell you what, we'll just we'll just keep it off for now. Yeah, should we just turn it off? There we are. Nice and quiet there. Yeah. Right, so what I'll do is I'll show you guys um the sits i'll come outside open the door so you guys can see but before we even do that i'll just show you guys at the top as well so you've got this control section over here then you've obviously got your sunroof as well so you've got two different parts of the sunroof you've got the front driver's side as well as the back as well it's a very windy day so i don't want to open it then you've also got these as well which feel beautifully made that's myself there all right so what i'm going to do i'm going to just go in the back guys i'm going to hop in there and then we're going to just just sit in there and just, yeah, and just take it in. So guys, this is where you come and pick your spec. So you've got all different colors for the bodies and you've got the leather as well. Then you've got the different colors as well for your outside exterior. Then you've also got the wood trims as well. So you can do wood trimming. So you can do all sorts. Carbon as well as there. That's for, I think, if you want to get the cloth material in case you're vegan. Then you get the wheels as well. Different wheels. Massive wheels. And yeah, thanks to Bentley Newcastle for helping me out. Appreciate that. Guys, okay, so I'm back set in front here just to try and give you guys my conclusion of me sitting behind this car. Um, to sum it up in as few words as I can, you know, manage in my little brain is this car is like a yacht. It's like a yacht that, you know, that is sitting on the pillars of clouds and you don't feel any bumps at all. You don't feel any imperfections on the road as well. It's got this clever system where like, it's got this camera which picks up like any bumps and it prepares the suspension on this car. Obviously it does have a suspension, but I think you've got to spec it up as well. Not quite sure, I could be wrong though. But even with normal springs, this should be still comfortable than a normal car. So the air suspension is able to soak up the bumps and it just irons everything out as well. So it feels like a yacht with the materials, the leather and everything else. You know, you could just sleep in here. It's like a first class um, uh, seat, you know, um, from a, the best airline in the world in a car. And it's just all those things combined, you know, and it's just what I love about this car. I love everything about it. It's the uh, epitome of British, you know, um, engineering. 
if you will. I know it's owned by Germans, but it's still like, you know, a British name Bentley. You can't take that away from it as well. And boy, like, you know, it's also nice to see them also have the hybrid system come to these big cars as well, because these cars, you know, as I say, they've got like the W12 as well as the 4-litre, which are now dinosaur as we're now moving towards the, you know, the new era of electrification so it's nice to see bentley introduce that as well and i believe the next car which they will do is ben Tega as well that will have the same engine so it's a three liter petrol engine which comes from an audi and it's been put in here is that all a part of the same group audi bentley porsche and whatnot so you've also got the porsche gearbox as well which is very clever as well it's able to engage the electric motor i believe when you need to so initially when you take off I think it's just um, on EV alone. And then when you put your foot down, then, you know, it then picks up, you know, and, you, you know, it, 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 it then introduces the engine to a kind of AG as well to, yeah, to move on fast. So, yeah, it's been a beautiful time. I've had a good time. And this is one of my favorite cars. And I'm happy that I've been able to take off this bucket list where I'm able to sit in the car and just, you know, and just soak it up as well. And it's better in real life than looking at pictures. It feels so surreal. I mean, looking at that heads-up display there. The windows, even though they're small, it does make sense because they're trying to give you that, like, flying space. You know, when you're flying, like, if you look at birds flying, they don't really, like, look at the side. They're looking in front. So you've got a big, massive screen, windscreen, and the windows on the side are small. Still big enough for you to look and feel safe and everything, but at the same time, the focus is all about the front as well, which is why it's called a flying spur. So it's inspired by a bird and, you know, yeah. So I think over here, you've obviously got your hybrid mode there. So I think you're able to, oh, I don't know how far myself in sound. But if you go to hybrid there, you know, you've obviously got three miles of range, which is not quite a lot. But when you charge this car, you do get obviously that like 33 miles. And also when you drive it as well, there's also a mode where you can charge it up as you drive it. And also when you brake as well, it's got regen braking as well. So it's able to help you like um, transfer that power back, you know, to the battery itself as well. It's very clever. It's a very clever system. Too clever for someone like me. And um, what else have I missed? Okay, so um, the screen as well, you're able to just close that away if it's a little bit complicated for you by just by pressing that. And it just tucks away. Then you've got the old school dials as well that give you information as well you've also got a compass in the middle as well that's nice to see as well beautiful i also like the brightling clock as well it says bentley as well over there it just feels plush and expensive the buttons you know i know nowadays a lot of uh, manufacturers are moving towards um just either haptic feedback buttons but these i prefer them because they do i think hold on to the classic bentley feel which is you know always in the touching of the finger it was always all about, you know, the buttons, the leather and this and that. And they've not took that away from people. They're still able to touch the buttons and feel like you're in a beautiful, expensive car as well. And this car does feel quite expensive. Um, I think this car has a W12 speed that will come, I think, at almost £300,000. But as this spec over here, I think it's going to be, you know, in the 220s, 225s. And also um, think about when it comes to tax as well. When it comes to tax, you don't have to pay that much tax as well. And, you know... Um, you also get like just to have that ev even if it does probably like say 15 miles in winter but you know you're able to boast and you're able to go into town in london and not pay any uh what's it called like any uh congestion charges at all so it's just those little things you can now get away with it will save a lot of people quite a lot of money as well i love how the mirrors are quite big as well inside your massive mirrors they've got that shape again like it's just that slick shape where it's just like a you know like a bear you know you've seen you've seen a bear fly and you see how it, it takes that stance where it's just slippery and this car does feel slippery as well oh man this is just beautiful one thing i didn't speak about is the uh is the glove box it's a normal size glove box it's not too big we'll also open the car as well i, think, oh, I would open the car in the back but it's just like um i didn't open the car in the back it's too windy um should i open the engine bay i don't know we'll see we'll open the boat and just look at the space in the back as well and just try and soak it up this is going to be the longest review i've ever done i'm just talking and talking and talking so guys now for the talking i'm going to show you guys the boot in the back as well